Welcome to Magiano's Little Italy. My name is Keith Brunel and I'm here to tell you about the story behind the dish. The dish that we're going to talk about today is our chicken romano with angel hair. This dish was created by Scott Rabideau, our executive chef in our Hackensack restaurant. Scott is also our culinary development leader who helps us create a lot of new dishes for Magiano's. Scott's inspiration behind this dish was how do I create a composed entree with angel hair pasta and protein to live simultaneously on the same plate. And he did that by infusing Mediterranean flavors of artichokes, tomatoes, roasted garlic, rosemary, basil parsley, and a white wine lemon sauce. And he layers two pieces of breaded chicken scallopini that are lightly dredged in fresh herb breadcrumbs and Asiago cheese on the top of a bed of angel hair pasta. It's really a wonderful dish. It's very seasonal, nice and fresh. I hope you enjoy. Thank you. Here we are, back at you live. Magiano's Little Italy Kitchen in North Park. Jeff Mann and Keith Burnell, we're going to show you how to make the perfect chicken romano with angel hair. Jeff, let's get started. What do we do with the chicken here? So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to take one ounce of soybean oil on the flat top. Awesome. Get a little movement on there. Looks great. We take chicken scallopini. So this chicken's already been pounded? Already been pounded. And we lightly bread it in our fresher breadcrumbs and house cheese mixture. So what's in the fresher breadcrumbs, Jeff? We've got our focaccia, we've got fresh basil, parsley, garlic, parmesan cheese, little salt pepper. Great. So that's what applies all that great flavor to the uh, to the chicken, huh? Correct. Awesome. Well, I'll take that out of your hair. So what's our next step, Jeff? What are we going to do right after that? So our next step, we'll get our saute pan. You want me to drop the angel for you? That'd be great. Okay. We'll take one ounce of our aglio butter. Lightly warm it, bring out the flavor of the Calabrian peppers, the garlic, lemon juice, and just blend everything together. So we're going to take that, toss the angel hair with the aglio butter. Then what we're going to do, we're going to have a tablespoon of our house cheese, just to thicken it up and pull it together. Great. Just incorporate it. And then we're going to put that down the center of the plate. So then what we're going to do is we're going to take our chicken sauce. Great. We're going to take our diced tomatoes. We've got our artichoke hearts. Basil parsley. Chopped rosemary. We're going to set that on there. Then we're going to add our lemon butter. We're going to let all these flavors incorporate. So I'm going to come look at the chicken right now. The chicken's nice and brown. Do that. Then we're going to add one tablespoon of the roasted garlic. And then what are you looking for this, Jeff? Are you looking to just bring it to a simmer? And bring it to a simmer, let the lemon butter incorporate into the sauce. Since we've got a nice viscosity already from the white wine chicken sauce, that's what we're looking for right there. So another great fact about this dish is this dish was created by Scott Rabideau, our chef in our Hackensack restaurant. It's actually the first dish that we have at Magiano's where we actually incorporate chicken and pasta on the same dish. So we're known as more of an a la carte type restaurant where you get your chicken on one your chicken on one plate, your sides and your pastas on another plate. That allows that meal to be shareable. This is one of the few entrees where we combine all these great elements onto one plate. It's a really wonderful, refreshing dish. So Jeff, let's put the final touches on this dish. So when you put the chicken on, what are you looking for? So I'm looking to put the chicken on a nice angle. So nice. So enough plate coverage. You want to shingle the chicken just a little. So we got great plate coverage. The chicken is shingled. If uh, Sarah wants to zoom in on that, you can see the nice golden brown color, the angel hair, and then the chicken is covering as much of the plate as possible. Then what we're going to do, just going to put all the goodies right on top and let everything fall to the side. Great job. Well, and Jeff, you did an awesome job with this dish. I'd like to thank uh, Jeff Mann for putting the final touches on this dish. And I'd like to thank Scott Rabideau for the inspiration behind this great chicken Romano with angel hair. Enjoy.